light uh, I illuminate it with, I call chromostrobic light, and it's light that changes colour faster than the human eye can see. Now that means that actually when you're looking at one of these sculptures, it's only being lit at any one instant in time by a single colour. But because the colours are changing so rapidly, as the string sweeps through a volume of space, the light changes so that at each moment where the string has got to, the light has changed. And so we see this volume lit by a multiplicity of different colours. And this uh, donut, as I call it, is extracting colours from the background graphic that's slowly changing. When I first became a light artist, it was like an escape from my science background. And I became more kind of conscious of the fact that what I was doing was something like science, but it's not science, where science seeks to provide insight and explanations of how the world is. Me, as an, I call myself a scientific artist, but in a way what I am is a, a mathematical artist, by using those same methodologies that, that the physicists would use, but in a completely different way, <laughs> I arrive at, at a way of working, which is, which is you know, that characteristic of what I'm doing.